the bridge failed. Fact, bridges aren't supposed to fail. Another fact, this was the best case scenario. In this case, it just so happened that someone caught it at the right time. Per P.S. Suraj, a leading voice on infrastructure, Illinois has the third largest inventory of bridges in the country. 16% of those bridges are deemed structurally deficient. It's nearly one in five. That's an alarming number considering the amount of traffic that Illinois gets. The bridge in question passed its latest inspection in 2017 by the Chicago Department of Transportation, but there were problems per this state document. There were minor deterioration and cracks visible, which may have led to this. Does that raise a, a red flag about all of the other quote-unquote passing infrastructure out there? Yes, because of the fact that there has not been frequent maintenance of these assets as needed. So note this, IDOT will pony out $2.6 billion over the next six years for bridge maintenance and improvement. But by its own estimates, $10 billion are needed. That's a $7.4 billion underfunding. And Dr. Suraj examined pictures of the bridge and says it looks, looks like the break was caused by a support column shift. Bigger picture here, the state of bridges in Cook County. Federal records show of the 1,700 county bridges, there were 1,200 with worse inspections than this one. So more than seven in 10 worse than the one that failed on Lakeshore. In the newsroom, Brad Edwards, CBS2 investigators, Rob and Erica, back to you. Yeah, that is a frightening thought indeed, mm -hmm. Brad. Thank you.